time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power. <coughs> whoa, whoa. Power Hour is getting me choked up. Welcome to Power Hour Live. Tuesday, August 13th. S&P up 82, 1.5%. NASDAQ up 437, up almost 2.5%. Russell up 27, up almost 1.5%. Dow up 370, up almost 1%. Gold slightly green, silver a little bit red, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down over 1%, oil down 2%, natty gas down 1.5%, soybeans, corn, wheat all red, euro and the pound green, Bitcoin up 3%, VIX contracting 11.5%, 18.34 currently. Uh, I had a price action trade from this morning, got stopped out. I entered somewhere in this area, about 9.30 a.m. Central-ish, and just kind of grinded higher, grinded higher, and then popped and stopped me out. Uh, took another one a little while ago, hit 20 and 40%. Still have a couple contracts left on that. And then I've also got this current one that I just entered a little bit ago. That is... About 40 cents from hitting 20%. Uh, I've got a 1DTE transformer from yesterday that is in max profit territory. As long as we close above 54.10. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? Oh, I did a couple of 1-2 DTEs. The first one I did was up about 5% not too long ago. Now it's at about scratch. I entered another tranche that's also at about a scratch. So I'll be closing both of those by the end of the day. Uh, I've got my rut hedges on. The one from yesterday is not looking pretty. Those rut hedges were doing so well for a while, not doing so well lately. And then the one from today is at about break even. Uh, let's see what else. I think that is it for me. Chad, how's your day? You had two uh, full stops in the morning. One thing I'm I'm just kicking around in my brain here this morning was, um, you know, it just just so happened the setups were, uh, you know, when I was fifty wide, my wings. The put side was still pretty pricey, like uh, ten for the first one, I think, $0.95 cents for the second. And so, I don't know. I'm just kicking around in my brain. Should I have, should I have, should I have um, managed the entire iron condor? It seems like it, you know, it really takes a while to hit that 20%. On just the shorts when you got longs that pricey and then um when you get a grind up those puts then start to lose their value so by the time you're stopped they're um you know dollar 10 instead of a dollar you know now they're down to 20 30 i think i closed my am ones out for 35 cents and so it makes your in a full stop it makes your full stop a bigger loss than I'm used to. So, yeah, I, I don't think know. there's, I don't think, I mean, my two cents is I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I think, you know, then it just comes down to you need to make sure you're always monitoring your longs while you're in a trade. If you have a, if you have your stop set on the full, all four legs. 
Yeah, I don't. Well, that's 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 the problem. Was when I was monitoring it, those um, calls were worthless, even though the push up. Right. So, so then you so, so, so then you'd have to change it to a stop on three legs, which that that's exactly what Trade Steward does automatically. But so you could do it; it just takes more monitoring, I guess. Yeah, so something to think about. It's something I was kicking around, and then I had a lunchtime that was a twenty, forty, sixty, and out. So that has definitely helped with my P and L. Um, have a power hour trade on that of seventy cents away. About sixty, fifty cents away from booking twenty percent on that. And I'm in a Wooga. I posted the fifty four thirties and twenties. Yeah, if we can just hold here, or bounce a little bit, should hit my 20% on this one. Getting close. So, uh, by the way, it is up day territory. We're up 0.95% from the open. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the three tranche update power hour because I've already got two positions on here, but certainly qualifies. We've been treading above the expected move since a little bit before noon central nasdaq pushed up above it before 11 a.m central vix continuing just to grind lower down to 18.24 uh, i haven't i haven't been really doing the Kind of the normal three tranche power hours. I did a, I think an update tranche one last week, and then we kind of flushed. So I skipped tranche two and three, and then I did all three tranches one day, and uh, they were they were red. They both one got stop reduced and stopped out for about a scratch. The other two were losses. So I'm just. You know, I've kind of I've kind of grown to like kind of entering based on price action as opposed to just that set three tranche method. So I've just been kind of focused more on the price action and entering around, you know, perceived consolidation areas as opposed to the time based entries. Holding my calls yesterday was a good ended up being a good decision. My Nvidia calls. Oh yeah, I did have a I did have a few good trades on uh, day trading this morning. Well, two, yeah, it was rough for me. Two out of three. I had. Uh, a loser on a mighty 90 short in Coinbase. And then I had an upside continuation runner in NVIDIA and an upside vol runner in Tesla that were both winners. So about 1400 on those. Yeah, I got back into the green, but it was a struggle. So my six, seven from Friday, I've already closed half at 20%. The rest of it's now only up about five or 6%. There's my 20% just hit. So let me lower my stop. So what I was saying on my six, seven, 
So my call strikes at 5415. We're currently at 5428. So we're 15 points above my call strike. The position is on my remaining few contracts. It's still up about 5%. So I'm going to close that one out today just to avoid potential gap risk tomorrow. I mean, if we go down, that'd be great. But if we do a big bounce, another push higher after CPI, that one could go from being a nice profitable trade to a loser. So I'm going to close the rest of my 6-7 today. And then I mentioned my uh, couple of 1-2 DTEs. They'll I'll close out before the end of the day. We get a little bit of a down move. Those should both scratch out a profit. Right now they're chopping around Scratch to down one percent ish. But what a move here! Did not get that, did not get that next leg down. Did it look like we were going to on the seventh after we kind of pushed up and started to flush, just short squeezed all the way up from there. Oh, and then my UVXY positions, I've got two of them on. I've got one vertical and I've got one this broken wing butterfly, which is now pushing down below the, the lower break even. I was looking at some different adjustment things to see what I wanted to do with that. Didn't really find anything I liked. If I combine, so I've got that and then I've got the the vertical, which is getting close to 50% of max. Both of those are in the same expiration. So combined, my risk, if Vol keeps contracting, my, my max risk is about 2,000. Um, I'm inclined just to keep them on, both, both on for now. The vertical has helped lessening my, my loss on the uh, broken wing butterfly. If we do get a Vol pop, that thing will bounce right back into the tent. So I'm just going to hold for now. You know, who knows? Maybe we get a surprise CPI report and we get a little ball pop and I can do something with it. Am I okay with CPI tomorrow? In what way, Krish? It's happening whether I want it to or not. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's what I was just talking about. Just going to hold. Uh, if you just want a chess master, if you just want a pure vol crush play, I mean, you could do something in VXX or UVXY. Just any type of bearish strategy just depends on your appetite for risk. If we get a if we get a vol expansion, obviously you're going to have that risk. So if you're looking for a pure vol contraction play, VXX is probably the best ticker to use at this point. I mean, if you look at a, uh, if you want to look at just the three day options, let's see what that looks like. Three day options. I mean, you're looking at a, if I'm, I'm just looking at a, 52.50 long put spread, $133 of risk, $67 max profit, so about a two to one reward versus the risk.
Yeah, or you could look at some type of broken wing butterfly. Something like that, 51, 49, and 47 and a half. It's only about 50 bucks of risk per contract. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. It contracts down below 47 and a half. It's essentially a scratch. Down moves helped my Wooga. Yeah, I think I like this little three day broken wing butterfly for CPI trade. You looking at my screen, Chess Master? So, what's your question? No, I wasn't talking to you, madam. I was talking to chess master. Let's see if we get a little down move. I'll, I'll look at that. Remind me to put this on before the end of the day. Well, you're you're gonna want to you're gonna want to set it up on your risk profile graph, chess master. I'm just I'm looking at the fifty one forty nine forty seven and a half broken wing put fly. Looks like it's trading for about fifty fifty five sixty cents right now. I don't think Madam Butterfly's on the uh, on the live stream. I think she thinks that you're talking to her, Chess Master. All right, I'll come back to that. Get 20% on my power hour trade. Well, my one twos are back in the green. Uh, that'd be a yes, Cody. Uh, Four dollars stop uh, trailing stop of my first first profit target. 
we can pull back to around the expected move area around 5413 that'd be ideal for the double calendars Google's up 13%. No, I'm just, I had two different price action iron condors on. And so I'm just, I'm using those. I'm not, I didn't do the three tranche update. Down to a 10 wide for new entry. I haven't seen that in a while, in about a week, two weeks at this point. That narrow. Just sucking that premium out. Twenty five butterfly already trading for almost a dollar. Yeah, eighty cents maybe. Yeah, with a 12-point expected move, that's not a very attractive trade, 10 wide. About to hit 60%. There it is. 60% now on the other one. I've got half of this one left that I hit 20% on. Need to bounce now. So VXX contracted about three and a half points today. So if it did that tomorrow, that'd be after CPI, that'd be right to the peak of this BWW, BWB.
but we can always the market could also use CPI as an excuse to pull back after this monster run. I mean, we've gone from 51.20 to 54.20 in seven trading sessions. Need a little bounce. We'll get 20%. I forgot I do have a bearish VRR that I put on as we approach the expected move area. I was looking for a little move lower to uh, transform that. Obviously, we didn't get that move lower. So this is a 1 DTE trade. I'm not going to hold it overnight. So I'll probably just cut it for a few hundred dollar loss here. But I'll give it a little time, see if we make a little down move. So on the individual stocks today, on the red side, CMG is down 7%, DJT down 3.5%. On the green side, Starbucks is up 22%. Wow. Pumpkin spice lattes come early? What's going on there? It's a big jump. No earnings. Yeah, it's got a new CEO or something. Yeah. Is Howard Schultz coming back? Please, please no. I'm not really sure how that affects it. But... Oh, CEO of Chipotle went to Starbucks. Okay. Interesting. I knew they were... Howard Schultz has been calling for the CEO's head for a few months. I didn't know if uh, he was trying to position himself to get back in or what. NVIDIA's up 6%. SMCI up four and a half. Okay, that yeah, that makes sense. CMG is the biggest red and Starbucks is the biggest green, although CMG's bounced back quite a bit from its lows of the day. We need to come up with some new swag. Headgear, hats, headbands. Got mugs and t-shirts. Some golf, uh, what do you call those golf things? The divot, divot replacers. Oh yeah, divot fixer. SPX coming down a little bit. It's enough. It's enough down move for my my power hour trade. I, I'm not going to get in another power hour that's ten or fifteen wide with this type of movement. Plus, I also have to. I only have about twenty minutes. I got to take Stone to football.
Well, Chris said PPI would send the market falling. So what's CPI going to do tomorrow? <laughs> Chris, he's already claiming it's going down. I think Chris is just using my my proprietary indicator. He's right about 50% 50, 50 of the time. I did close out some contracts today in NVIDIA. I got some left, though. All right, I'm going to close my remaining 6-7 DTE double calendar on this little move down. Twenty cents from forty percent at power hour. Ooh, there's a nice little bounce. Yes. Don't bounce too much now. Quick enough to get in my double calendar. There we go. Needs to sell in about fifty four twenty five. That's dead center of my wooga. Ten cents away from hit forty percent. This, you know, this stone football practice is really going to start eating into your power hour profits. That's your, that's your moneymaker, Chad. Well, let's see what is today. I guess it's just this week because, oh. well, when school starts, you know, they'll just, he'll just go from school. You know, I won't have to take him. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's, when does his school start? I saw some schools on the Kansas side started today. We start on a Tuesday. Okay, Monday. Yeah, his he starts on Monday. Next Tuesday Monday, twentieth. Yeah. We got twenty five percent. Didn't quite hit my forty percent. It was ticking on it. I'm about thirty cents away from forty percent of my power hour.
15 cents away. Come on. Slowly. There we go. Filled at 40%. Slowly digging myself out of this hole I put myself in. So with my, uh, I was talking earlier about the the puts, you know, being so pricey and then when it moves up, makes the loss, the full stop bigger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, norm, normally 2,800, 3,000 is the full loss for, for what I do. But today it was 4,400 and 4,500 because of those puts losing so much value. By the time I got stopped, there's my forty percent. Uh, I'm still doing. I'm still more. I'm still doing ten across the board. Uh, there was a week or two in there, or a few, a few weeks ago, I was doing six in the morning when VIX was like at above thirty, but I'm back to ten across the board right now. But a forty four hundred and a forty five hundred dollar loss is a little bigger than I like to take. I, I, I'm gonna look at that tomorrow and see what the puts are worth tomorrow. All right, just closed my tranche one of my one, two DTE. I'll close tranche two here shortly. Got my last few contracts. I put my Profit target down at a dollar. I'm gonna let it let it burn a little bit more. Assuming we can stay up here. 5430 would be ideal. Uh, I like to do those one twos the day before an event day tomorrow and get out the same day. A lot of times you can book 10% same day on those. My theory or logic behind that is, you know, you get kind of some elevation in those options leading up to it. And then the day before it kind of contracts a little bit. So you actually, a lot of times can book faster profits, even though the shorts are on the, uh, event day the day before all right i'm going to put this vxx brokering butterfly in for 50 cents if we get a little bounce i should get filled i may adjust it I will post this in the option selling chat.
We've got So does that make sense, Marl, on the one twos? Uh, I do that, but before CPI and FOMC, both of those days seem to work well many times, not always. Where is Elliot? Elliot's been a little quiet lately. The British man making him work. <clears throat> Taylor Swift's in London. <laughs> Elliot wouldn't miss that for sure. I think she finishes up here pretty soon. Then they said she was going to be staying in Kansas City for most of the season, I think. You think Travis will propose for, as a touchdown dance? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's coming. But I don't think it has anything to do with football. Last tranche trading down to 225. I'm going to give it, I'm going to keep my dollar profit target, see if we can, see if we can hold here. And still get in five wide, Chad. Yeah. I'm going to have to close out here because I'm going to. Well, I guess I can just my power hour trade. It's at 270. I've got a order in it. 260. So it'll probably hit before I have to take off. We get another big contraction after CPI. We're going to be looking at. We're going to be back to straddles for power hour next week. Yep. Well, I got got quite a bit back. I was down on over nine k after those first two, and a lunchtime and a power hour winner cut that in half. There we go. Filled it sixty uh, percent out. So the only thing I got left is a wooga. It's at thirty five percent. Uh, Moel, I was just saying, you know, when you get later in the day when volatility is really low, 
you're you're selecting the same strike on both the put and the call side. I guess I'll close out my last one, too. I guess I'm closing out a dead center wooga because I have to leave. Darn it. Close it out on your phone. Yeah, I tried that yesterday. I ended up booking like 20%, but it was like, I mean, I was, I'm driving, so it's not like I can really. Gotcha. It wasn't the easiest. I'll take a 36%, 38% winner here. All right, just close it out. Tranche two of my one two DTE. So I'm calendar free. Going into CPI. All right, closed out for 40%. So nice woo good today. All right, I'll see everybody uh, in the morning. Day trading. All righty, see ya. All right, we got a little over 19 minutes to go. My last tranche of my uh, price action trade is trading for a dollar 80 got my profit target set at a dollar at the moc in nine minutes so whatever comes first moc or a dollar i'll close this last piece to get ready for my homes Twenty five butterfly trading for about a buck, maybe, maybe a little less. That VXX trade is trading close. I've got my profit. I've got my order at fifty cents. It looks like it's trading at about fifty four, fifty five cents. You get a little bit of a bounce, it should get filled. little bounce would close out my iron condor and would fill my VXX 
broken wing butterfly. Got some short premium in the Euro. The Euro kind of popped up today. Just a little right of center on that one. I have adjusted it. So that's not reflected on my price graph. Gold. It's in the green. By a little bit. I entered a new ES Hedgehog today, and I've had a different one on for about a week. Here's the one I entered today. I put on last week is up a few hundred. And will bounce. Why is the price of that VXX going up? It must be pumping some vol in. No, it's just it's just a misprint, I think. I think it should correct itself here shortly. <clears throat> I don't think that spread jumped 35 cents. There he is. Are you are you trading and driving? You heard us talking about you. You and your infatuation for Taylor Swift. <laughs> Trade Steward is great for trading and driving. Yeah, I think she's in, uh, let's see, MRP said she's in town. Elliot, are you doing the three tranche update? I was wondering if that little down move may have stopped out one of the tranches. Power hour down day. <laughs> Getting close to my dollar fill. It's trading at a buck oh five. Should be getting filled. Two minutes till MOC. Come on, hit it. There it is. Out for a buck.
All right, so this VXX, okay, so now back down to about 50. I'm going to raise my, I'm going to raise that to 55 cents. I don't know where that thing's trading now. Should have come down. No fill at 55 cents. All right, MOC in a little over a minute. A little bounce. Six seventy million to the sell side. Small. So I'm working the thirty and thirty fives. Hit a new high of day. Now we're coming back down. in a 25 as well so 25 30 35 that vxx broken wing butterfly keeps expanding looks like i should have tried to get in that earlier Well, I'll pay 55 cents. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay up for it. <clears throat> if I get filled, I get filled. If not, I don't. Discount, you booked 50% on Wooga? That little down move got you hit it? Nice. That's beautiful, right before the exit time. Just when you count Wooga out, he comes through. All right, we're sitting at 30. Looks like my 30 butterflies. Trading for a dollar thirty, dollar forty, maybe.
Coming back down towards 25. Go ahead and put in a 20. This little, this little movement's keeping the flies cheap, though. Twenty five fly trading for about a dollar seventy, I think. There it was. Four and a half minutes to go. Pushing back up towards 30. Let me just sit on 30 for a minute. Looks like the 30s are close to filling. Hit it. Fills on the 30s. Canceling 35s. Canceling 25s. Canceling 20s. All right, need to move away from 30. Got three full minutes. It's like, it's like a lifetime compared to what we've had. My VXX trade looks like it's trading for about 57 cents. I'm sitting at 55 still. I've been filled over 15 minutes before the bell, Moel, and it didn't move five points to, enough to transform. Obviously a different environment, but. Just kind of stuck at 30, 31, two and a half minutes. I think we want to make a new high of day, don't we? New high of day would do it.
All right, Mahomes, you got one minute. Need another. Wow. Didn't even move five points. I got partial fill on my vertical. Partial, partial, locked. All right, now let's crash. We got 40 seconds to crash. Move down to 25 would be nice. Just a 10 point move, 10 point crash. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Settling at 54, 34.41. Mahomes strikes again, my friends. Mahomes strikes again. He's hard to beat. He is hard to beat. All right, all. Have a good night. Uh, Chad streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. CPI in the morning. Get your popcorn ready. All right, take care. Cheers.